Hey, I'm Jocelyn Hepler, and I'm on staff with crew at Christopher Newport University. I love what I do, and I also love interacting with people on social media. Now, we all know that there is a lot of negativity on social media in a lot of ways that it's not used well, but I think that we as believers have an opportunity to use it well, and so just as much as we want to think about and gauge our interactions and conduct in real life, the same should be done online. And so... The platform that I tend to hang out the most on is definitely Instagram. I love and enjoy the opportunity that social media gives us to be creative and make our accounts reflective of who we are and what we enjoy. So I personally do a lot of that on Instagram, just sharing the things that I enjoy, the things that I'm reading, funny moments with friends, the bread that I make. Um, so just really the most riveting content. Um, but social media is also interesting because you only know as much about me as I want you to know, right? And people can only know so much about you in an Instagram post or a story. But even in the midst of all of the saturation of the filters and fakeness, I personally want to be as real as possible in those spaces and have even shared vulnerably in various posts about things that I've walked through and the ways that the Lord has met me in those things, just as a way to express authenticity um, in my interactions with people online so that the limited amount of me that people do see on social media is the same as the person that they would interact with in real life. And there's certainly a lot of wisdom and discernment that goes into what we choose to share, but as believers, we we want to be above reproach. We want to tame our tongues. We want to be kind and loving, consider others, etc. So if I'm meant to approach my speech and interactions in real life in that way, then the same goes for the things that I type and the ways I interact with people in a space like Instagram. Philippians 4.8 tells us to think about the things that are true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, and commendable. So how am I doing those things online, both in the content that I'm consuming on social media, but also the content that I'm putting out for others to consume? We've gotten to a point now in our culture where anyone can have a platform, but it's gotten to the point where individual people have now become brands. And so another thing that I think about is that even if my Instagram has a certain aesthetic to it or the content that I post has a specific theme to it, which is fine because I want to enjoy the things that I post and it's specific to me, but does that ultimately come back to me to glorify me and my platform and give me attention or does it serve as a springboard to give God glory ultimately and point ultimately to him and direct other people to him just as my whole life itself is meant to do as a believer? And so if I make it my aim that anything I do is for the glory of God and not for my own and not for the approval of man, then that is going to shape what I say on social media, how I say it, and how I interact with others.